Hi, it's Sandra here from Create in Spain and I have a card file for you today which can be done in several different ways. Now I didn't actually intend to put a bow on here but I was using this grey card and I made a mistake on my mat in that I didn't have enough adhesive on it and the card shifted. So I thought, ah, drat. So I decided to recut it. And I turned the card over and cut it from the bottom, you know, so when it had been turned around. And when I had cut it, I realized that there were some marks on the top of the card that I didn't want there. And so I put the ribbon and the bow on. So it just goes to show that you can actually do things even if you make a mistake. You can rectify it if you're lucky. Now the shapes are cut out with my machine and what I did was I used the second head on my machine. You can do some scoring with an embossing tool and you know, if you've got one of those it's very very handy because what I did was I embossed it on the machine and then I went round all the marks that were put there with the embossing with a silver pen to give them a little more definition. So you can see that just about. So that's the first version I've done. And you'll notice there is no line around here at all. I have just done around the shapes. Now the next one that I've got is slightly different. I have an offset line around here with the stitch pattern. Now this one is just done with the embossing tool. The gold piece is one piece like that and I cut a strip away in the design. And so I've done this card a few times and I've got some red card and I filled in the pieces with the red just to add a little contrast on there. And I haven't added a sentiment, the sentiment will go up here. Now what I did was I made this card up and this one has just got the piece put on the front. Okay, I made the card up and my intention was to cut the sentiment out and to put it on top. And then I discovered I didn't have any more of the matching card. I can do it in gold pen. But for those people who are not very good at writing sentiments, you don't have to fear. Even though I had stuck this card together, I was able to do the embossing on my machine. How do you do it and make sure you get it in the right place? Well, it's actually very simple. On the shortcut slot, there is an option to cut from the center. And what you do is you mark where you want the center of your entire sentiment to be. And in this case, I think it came to just above the R. Just mark it with a little pencil. And then when you send it to the machine, put that pencil mark underneath your tool. Okay, now in the case of the Silver Bullet Platinum, you don't put it under the left tool, even if you are actually cutting or drawing or whatever with the left, you still put it under the right tool, okay? Slightly confusing because you might think you'd use the left one, but you don't. You always put your starting point with the right tool. So in this case, I had a blade which was situated directly above the R. And then when it actually started, it shifted over and it put it exactly where I expected it to go. Again, if you're going to be doing this with the Platinum, make sure you have got this set to a pen tool so you don't get an offset and make sure you set it to the correct side. So in my case, I have a blade in the right and I have an embossing tool in the left. And so with the spanner on the shortcut slot, you set that to the left one, but you line it up with the right tool, okay? And then it will go exactly where you want it. If you don't have the dual head, then you simply align it with your standard tool but you swap it out for an embossing tool. And then I embossed it and I went over it with the same gold pen that I used for that one. Right, so that was that mistake cured. 
finally, I have this one, which is definitely what I would class as more of a, a male type card because of the color combination. I've done the same embossing. In this particular case, I didn't do the embossing around the shapes. I just did this wobbly line embossing. Went over that with the gold pen. And then I just put different designs around the holes. And this is where one piece which is cut out and stuck onto the front of the card. This is a stamped sentiment. I did that with a stamp and then I heat embossed it with a gold embossing powder. Now, you might see where I had a few little dabs of embossing powder where they shouldn't be. I've got a couple of little marks and they annoy me slightly. So what I'm going to do is cheat. I'm going to take this same gold pen and I'm just going to do some dots around the top. Do some random ones towards the outside. You don't want it to look regimented when you do this. So that's it. That's four cards from one file, all slightly different. Hope you like them and I will link the file below. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye bye.